In this video, we're going to talk about the best mini tripod for traveling, vlogging, whatever it might be. So with that, let's go. Today we're going to compare the Sirui, I don't know what model it is, but it'll be in the description, versus this small rig mini tripod. We're going to go over the differences and similarities and ultimately the one I'm going to keep. So we'll start with the similarities. Uh, both of the tripods have this rotation thing. Let's see, uh, it probably won't focus on it because it's set to focus on my face. Oh, there it goes. So this rotation thing um, allows you to rotate the camera around while this is set on a table, which is really useful because you can, if you're kind of a run and gun type shooter, you can just set this down and rotate it to wherever you need it to face. Uh, you know, rotate it according to its physics, like, you know, so it won't tip over and such. Rotate to frame what you want to frame, and off you go. Uh, both of the tripods have that. Let's see if it'll focus on it. It won't focus on it, but you'll just have to trust me. Oh, there it goes. There's the rotator thing right there. Um, so both of these have the capability to rotate so you can frame, get what you want to get. Uh, the second similarity is the build quality both of these guys built very solidly this is i don't even know what material it is it kind of really doesn't matter if it gets the job done it gets the job done it's a metal sort of material it's very sturdy when i took it out of the box i was like yes this thing is is going to last for a while so both the small rig um, and the siroi both metal material um, the siroi uh, does feel a little bit um, it's lighter for sure. So, um, build quality is still solid. Like nothing's loose or anything like that, but it does feel just lighter. So you might think that it is more flimsy. I'm not sure, but it, it's still like a, a metal material, maybe aluminum, not sure. Um, and, and it is lighter, like I said. So this also works really well. Um, if you're just trying to, trying to vlog, um, on the topic of vlogging, uh, different people have different definitions of vlogging. Most people, I think, associate vlogging with just like recording yourself. For me, vlogging is video logging or video blogging. And so I, a lot of what I do is, uh, you know, talking head. I think that's vlogging. So um, this uh, this thing here does really well, the Sarui. Um, and, and we can kind of get into the differences now. So the first difference uh, you're going to notice is that the Sarui uh, the leg position, it, there's only one position. It, it's like this. It's always going to be at, at this angle right here. So um, that's just the way the, the leg mechanism works. When you want to put it down, you go like this and off you go. Inevitably, the little one's going to come in and turn on the light on you, but that's okay. It's just the way it goes. Um, also, when you're packing this up, it goes like this. And then I guess if you want to vlog like this too you can um, but uh, yeah that's uh, basically how this leg mechanism works and then when you want to set it on the table again you do this whole thing you twist this thing right here at the bottom uh, and then you lock it in place uh, my plan is going to be to always have this locked I'm always gonna leave it like this or like this I'm always gonna vlog like this so um, this is very nice because it's very user-friendly. It's very simple. You just do this, put it on the table. Whereas for the small rig, these legs don't have a set position. So you can move it all the way out like this, but then it's going to be super flat on the table. It's going to be super low. And when you, if you're, you know, if you need something that you're like walking around and vlogging like this, um, and then if you want to change it back to like a table position, I don't know, it's just more clunky and uh, you know, usually your table is gonna be, I don't know, at like this level right here. So you're gonna be looking down on the camera. So that's less than ideal for sure. Excuse me. Three-year-old messing with the keyboard. I guess that's the theme of this video. Um, so that's uh, one difference um, is the, the leg locking mechanism. The second difference is gonna be the height. So, um, you know, I think you can see that height difference right there. Sirui is gonna sit much taller uh, than this small rig thing right here. So, so I'm gonna turn the light off. No. 
Okay, it can stay on, that's fine. So um, the Saroy is gonna sit much taller. Again, I do a lot of talking head tabletop. I use cameras as my webcam. So for me, the Saroy is gonna do much better in that area because the small rig, it's, you know, the highest it can go is like, you know, at the highest point of this, it's still two inches lower than the Saroy. Not to mention the Saroy can uh, go even higher. Just untwist this thing, boom. So the Saroy is gonna do much better as a tabletop tripod. So those are two differences. The third difference is the locking mechanism. So on the small rig, uh, you got these things. I don't know what they're called, but um, when you want to make adjustments, you undo this, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, wrong order there. So you do this, you lock it in place, and then off you go. So it's this is really nice. It just takes like a, a quarter turn and then you can adjust, boom. I didn't know this existed. It's actually really nice. I really like this about the small rig. So both the ball head locking mechanism as well as the, uh, the rotating mechanism here is operated by this thing right here. Uh, whereas the Saroy, it's your uh, kind of more what I'm used to. It's this knob right here. It serves the same function. It just works a little differently. You uh, loosen it as such and uh, to tighten righty tighty boom um, so that is one drawback I wish the Saroy did have that thing where it just takes a quarter turn you make your adjustment and off you go because it's just quicker but um, you know so it goes um, the last thing is uh, this little thing that's been rattling around uh, the Saroy does come with a little carabiner with a little keychain thing so you could technically hang this off your backpack um, whereas the small rig doesn't come with that, but I'm sure you can kind of jerry-rig something, um, you know, even if it's, I don't know, this does have like holes right here, so you can tie a string here and put a carabiner on it. So it's not, you know, that's not the selling point. Um, so we'll get to the verdict. So, uh, Saroy is $76, whereas the small rig is 45 so it's a $30 price difference. And, uh, you know, for me, I think you've, you've caught this. For me, the Saroy is going to be a lot more practical and a lot easier to use just because, you know, my goal or my plan is to just uh, hold this like this. When I need to set it down on the table, it's three legs, set it down. So that took, I don't know, two seconds. Um, and I can do it without thinking. Whereas for the small rig, you know, if I'm like vlogging like this and then I need to put this on the table, it's like I need to pause, do this. And to make it level is gonna be more challenging on this because the legs can go, like there's a huge range of motion and it's, it's activated and kept in place by friction. So, you know, it's not gonna be perfect all the time. Um, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna realize the, le the leveler is a little off, so I'm gonna have to adjust. Um, it's not a set and forget type thing. Whereas, again, the Saroy, it just stops in place all the time. And I know it's going to be sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. So, just wanted to do a little quick video. Hope that was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.